Hello everyone, my name is Arun Reddy and welcome to my channel called All About Planning. Many of our cities in the past have grown around major transport hubs and development in the 21st century is paving way for the cities to grow around the airports. Airports around the world have been changing not just in terms of its form but also its functions. Today's video will give you an insight into the concept of Aerotropolis. Apart from the vital aeronautical infrastructure, there has been a shift in focus towards development of off-the-fence revenue streams to significantly increase the non-aeronautical share of revenue for an airport. Examples include Hong Kong International, Amsterdam, Detroit Metro and many others which have effectively increased their non-aeronautical share of revenue which now contributes to two-thirds of their entire income. Major factors which are responsible for higher commercial activity being the significantly higher incomes of airline passengers, the large volumes of passenger flow and the retail sales per square meter which is three to four times higher than that of a shopping mall. This trend of airport-centric de commercial development is greatly generating employment opportunities and are taking on numerous features of metropolitan CBDs. This evolution has led to a transformation of many airports into airport cities. The dispersed airport-related development is giving rise to a new urban form called as Aerotropolis. These are just like the traditional metropolis, but having airports as their city cores and many aviation-related businesses associated developments in the outlying areas. The main reason for the emergence of this is being the advantages that they provide for fast-growing and grow globally networked economy. Service sector, conference centers, trade representative offices, regional corporate headquarters, time-sensitive goods processing industries and others find airport areas an attractive location as it involves air shipment of cargo and long-distance movement of its staff. All these commercial services have the advantage of having dual customer base of travelers and the locals. These also have reciprocal benefits for the airports as well. In India, the focus on public-private partnerships to develop airports and plans to increase the non-aeronautical share of revenue are very much evident. The rapidly growing commercial air travel and the booming economy are acting as catalysts in the emergence of Aerotropolis. More information on the same can be found in the book Aerotropolis, The Way We'll Live Next by John D. Casada and Greg Lindsay. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you find this video useful, do share it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos.